Right, last week we finished the show with a story about how you can go out and pick your own pumpkins for Halloween. And of course Halloween was yesterday and after all the spooky fun is over, Britain is left awash with loads of unwanted pumpkins. So, what can you do with them? Matt Price has been finding out how to get some pucker tucker from those pumpkins. They have a history dating back more than seven and a half thousand years. As autumn rolls in, fields across the country are packed with bright orange pumpkins. Nowhere more so than here in Pontefract, West Yorkshire. Ironically, this year has been fantastic for growing pumpkins. This would have been our most phenomenal crop we've ever had, which is um, typical <laughs> when you have COVID and we're restricted on numbers. But though the crop has been, been excellent this year. They are not just for Halloween. They are, they'll actually last till March. So I've got a lot of people have been saving the little baby ones um, for Christmas, the white ones, you know, for Christmas table decorations. Now, despite the amazing crop here, one study has found a terrifying 12.8 million pumpkins will be left uneaten this Halloween in the UK alone. And despite them being such a great food source, three in five people aren't aware that a carving pumpkin bought, say, from a supermarket is totally edible. Well, every pumpkin eaten is a step towards the 6.6 .6 million tonnes of food that goes to waste from our home each year. But it's not just an environmental problem. Um, the average household throws away £730 worth of food each year. So um, it's quite a compelling uh, cost-saving benefit there as well. So, waste not, want not. All the middle's out. Yep. We're going to kind of get rid of that bit, pretend that's not there. We're in the kitchen with executive chef Elliot Grover cutting and carving. Now we're going to roast this in the oven to get a nice caramelisation. Determined to squeeze every little bit of flavour out of this seasonal squash. We're going to add a bit of the puree we made a moment ago, so we'll do one or two spoonfuls. Lovely, look at the colour of that, it's fantastic. It is so good, it's so underused and so nutritious. We just need to get it, take it home, cut it up, put it in the oven and see what we can do. Don't be scared of it. Don't be scared. On the menu today, a quick and easy risotto. Risotto is one of those really autumnal dishes, a fair bit of butter, a bit of cheese, really flavoursome as well. It is indeed, but you can also take the cheese out. You don't have to do cheese and butter, yep. it could be vegan. Why aren't people using pumpkins? Is it a fear of not knowing what to do with them? Or? I think people just don't understand how to use it. Um, and it's just about learning. Obviously, there's so many things you can do. And 20 minutes later, an essential taste test. It looks fantastic. It smells amazing. And how does it taste? Oh, it's incredible. Really, really good. It's claimed there are over 140 types of pumpkin. All shapes, all sizes, no spooky surprises. It seems last night's leftover pumpkin is so much more than just a scary face. Well, that's what I'm having for my tea tonight. And that is the end of this week's show. We've had an absolute...